gang, welcome. Oh, I gotta always hit the, got it, it's being recorded button. Perfect. All right, welcome to another wonderful Thursday. Hopefully you're all doing super, super great. Stretch and time. that you're all working on your activity plan. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't gotten too many emails yet about those activity plans. So just prompting you, just a bit of a reminder, but I do have to send you out those questions. So I will do that. Uh, make sure you have a nice clear space to exercise in, nothing to step on, trip over, stub your toe with. Today, we're gonna be a little more focused on playing with a couple intervals, some of that endurance, and I'm gonna give you a bit of a brain challenge to go along with that today. But we're very much focused on those heart and lungs today. All right, and then as always, if there's noise on your end, um, please try to mute. There might be a bit of noise on my end for the first little bit, and uh, I just appreciate your guys' patience. Thank you. All right, hand on your belly. Let's get into our belly breath patterning. So we're gonna breathe in, fill up that belly as we breathe in, and breathe out steadily through pursed lips. Breathe in. Out through pursed lips. Find what your range is that is challenging yet doable. Doesn't start a coughing fit. Maybe breathe out for two, three, four, maybe five. One more. Breathe in. Maybe two, three, four seconds. And out. Two, three, four, maybe five seconds. And last one, breathing in, two, three, maybe four, and out, two, three, four, maybe five seconds. Okay, again, finding whatever range works best for you. Okay, let's maintain that recovery breathing pattern as best you can while we just start to get the body moving. Take your hands. And I'm actually going to get you tapping one hand down to your thigh and then the other. So you might be thinking, I remember playing patty cake. I was feeling inspired. <laughs> All right, get into that easy pattern. One, two, one, two. Everyone got it? I didn't see a lot of nodding heads. Oh, no. Okay, as you do this, I want you lifting up your heels up and down as you go. Don't worry, it's going to get harder and harder and harder. I promise. <laughs> All right, now you're going to alternate one, two, that's with the palm, back of the hand, back of the hand, palm, palm, back of the hand, back of the hand, palm, palm. Back of the hand, back of the hand. Palm, palm, back, back. Palm, palm, back, back. And we're gonna keep lifting our heels up and down if you can. How are we doing so far, team? Great. Good. Palm, palm, back, back. One more, palm, palm, back. Back, both hands, palm, palm, back, back. Palm, palm, back, back. If you want to start singing and that helps you with the pattern, I welcome it. Palm, palm, back, back. Keep doing that pattern, but now our feet are gonna do something different. Now your foot is stepping forward one at a time. And it's still that same pattern with the hands, palm, palm, back, back. We're gonna change that up pretty soon as well. Just as a heads up, palm, palm, back, back. All right, you're going one, two, flip. One, two with the palm, flip to the back of the hand, one, Two with the palm, flip, back of the hand. One, two, flip. One, two, flip. One, two, 
flip. One, two, flip. One, two, flip. Out. One, two, flip. Out. One, two, flip. Out. One, two, flip. Out. So now if you're finding this fairly easy, I want you to try to pick up the pace. So one, two, flip out. One, two, flip out. One, two, Ruby. flip out. One, two, flip out, up. One, <laughs> two, flip out, up. One, two, flip out, up. Boy, how many are we going to add today? <laughs> there we go, gang. Remember, if those legs get tired, feel free to stop moving them and just focus on the arms. You can always do just one arm at a time. Okay, if that takes some of the strain off. So we've got our palm, palm, flip, out, up, cross, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 rest. Wow. Wow, he's right. Nice. I see some thumbs down. <laughs> Does that mean it was extra fun? I'm seeing some shaking of the head. <laughs> challenging. It is challenging. So okay. we're going to really Easy. test. Yeah, and we're going to keep on that track. I had to wake your brains up and get it going really, really well because we're going to keep on that track, guys. Okay? So this is the start of a sequence. And remember, a sequence is a grouping of exercises that we're going to end up repeating. So you got to remember each one. Part of the brain test, okay? So number one, all I want you to do is you're gonna open your arms out wide and then up, out wide, up, out wide, up, out wide, up. So remember if that up is sore on the shoulder or neck, you're welcome to just push out in front. If you want to make it more challenging, remember the different things you can do with that intensity is you can add some light weights and keeping them light because we are gonna be going for a period of time. And then the other thing is you can increase the speed and the range of motion. So if you come out just a little bit and a halfway, that's going to lessen the intensity, lessen the oxygen demand. And the greater that range of motion, the greater the oxygen demand. So it is harder to do. Now maintain that breathing pattern. And so that was exercise number one, rest those arms. Exercise number two, and you can do this standing or seated. You're gonna step the leg forward and then up and back. So it's like you're stepping up and over, pretend you have a block in front of you. It's up, stretch over, up, stretch back, up, stretch over, up, stretch back. So keep up that breathing. 
And if you're standing, it just looks like this. Up, step over, up, step back. Up, step over, up, step back. And you'll notice that knee is bending slightly. You're welcome to hold on to some balance support. Okay, so that's what it looks like standing. So remember, this is exercise number two. Excellent job, gang. And again, you're in charge of your intensity today. If you need it to be more intense. We've talked about lots of different options. And if you're not sure which one is best for you today, feel free to ask and I can help guide you to what might be a good option for you today based on how you're feeling. All right, I better keep an eye on my timer because that was exercise number two. There we go. Now, stretch one leg out to the side, take your hand and reach. Step back, step it out to the side, lean forward from your hips, not your back, and then step back, side, reach across, touch and back. Side, reach, back, side, reach, back. And that forwards movement comes from those hips, not your back. And if you're standing, right, then you take that step, reach, step, reach, step, reach. And that movement with your back is pushing the hips out. Okay. Boy, it's quiet today. There we go. Lots of focus today, guys. Well done. Move from those hips. We're going to do a fourth exercise and then we're going to repeat. And you guys have to remember or hope that at least one of you does. There we go. And rest. Good. So now foot crosses. Uh, your one foot crosses in front of your body. So cross over. And once you cross over, your arms are going up, down, uncross. So cross, up, down, uncross. Cross, up, down, uncross. Cross, up, down, uncross. If you are doing this standing, then it's that crossover step. Put, a, put that weight a little bit there as you come up, down, uncross. You have to keep that core tight. And you are welcome to hold on to your balance support and lift up with that one arm and just making sure you alternate if you do that. Maintain that breathing, everybody. Remember to breathe out through pursed lips. Help get that extra air out of your lungs, but there's more space for fresh oxygenated air to come in and we're not getting that air trapped in the lungs, we're breathing it out. And rest there. So after four exercises, grabbing a sip of water is a great idea. You all still with me? So far. <laughs> You're, you're thinking, at this point, you're thinking, boy, I really wish we had done some exercise yesterday, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what was number one? Oh, and, uh... Yep, you got it. Out to the side, and then press up. Out to the side, and then press up. <sighs> So again, guys, a lot of that endurance work, that's an intensity all on its own where those muscles have to keep working. So just do the best that you can. We are going for about a minute each movement. And you, if you feel like that's a bit too long for you today, no problem at all. Try to have either go for part of the time and just do what you can and then go into your recovery breathing. 
or aim for a number like five or 10, and then you pause for a moment, recover, and then come back in. It's important that we work within your capacity for today. You shouldn't feel like you're straining yourself. You shouldn't feel exhausted. That's where I always have at least one person say, well, Jill, I was exhausted when I first came on. And my answer to that is just do what you can. All right, what was exercise number two? Step over the cat. Legs forward. <laughs> Step over the cat. Rick, I love that. Step up and over the cat and then back. Step up and over the cat and back. Up and over the cat and back. So what's going to help in all of these exercises, gang, is thinking about that core. So it's tightening up your belly as we move, maintaining that breathing pattern. Yeah. As I lift up and step, I'm keeping my toes pulled up. And that can make the, the shin a little bit sore, right? You got that muscle there that we've talked about before, your tibialis anterior. And it's responsible for pulling those toes up, pulling your foot up. And it helps you when you're walking, takes a bit of pressure off the knee. Keep up that breathing pattern. Why don't we just boot the cat and get it out of our way? No. You still have to, you still have to use your feet. Oh, put her on your lap. <laughs> yeah. All they want, just love. And what's exercise three? Cross Someone the leg. Else is <laughs> they die non -reach. Cross the leg. <laughs> uh, I think number three, because right, you both, you have both exercises, right? But the third was out to the side and reach oh. out to the side and reach. And that fourth one is the cross. Yes, yeah, so that's kind of the hard part. Sometimes we remember the exercises, yeah. but sometimes the order gets a little muddled, that's for yeah. sure. <laughs> but good on you, you remembered all of the exercises we did. I think so. Remember, it down. You still have one to go. That's right. So you remember game, that one. Lean forward from the hips, not the back. Keep that core tight. And even as we're moving, we're thinking about the different pattern. You still have to remember your breathing pattern, breathing out through pursed lips. Excellent job. I should have figured out funny names to give each exercise today. <laughs> we have one for two. That's right. We've got one for two. Now we just need one for each other one. And rest. So now that fourth one, which most of you did remember, is that cross over right. and up. And then uncross. Cross up, down. Uncross, cross, up, down, uncross, cross, up, down, uncross. Keep breathing out through purse lips. This one's hot cross something. <laughs> hot, hot cross bum. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I do want you tightening your glutes here, guys. There we go. Excellent work. And rest. Whew. Grab a sip of water. Now, what's super, super fun is that we're going to do that one more time. 
because we still have to come up with names for two of the exercises. <laughs> All right, gang. What's that first exercise? Yep, out wide and up. It's almost like a swimming motion. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Either swimming or I feel like we're getting measured for a suit jacket or something. <laughs> We we'll call this one the, the tailor. Yeah. Keep up that breathing pattern. And, and boy, if you find one of these four exercises today, you were like, wow, that was a great one. I want to practice that. Maybe that's something you could add to your activity plan. <laughs> Just saying. Maybe you're thinking, boy, I never want to do that movement again. Not something you would put on your activity plan. <laughs> or say out loud, I'm fragile. <laughs> Thought for sure Barry would pick up on that one. There we go, gang. All right, we're done at the tailors. Now it's to step up and over the cat. And careful not to touch the cat. Sleeping nice and peacefully. They seem to have Looking a habit of just lying there when you want to get through, not moving. Oh, oh yeah. Dogs are the same way. They stay so close to you and you're going to oh, come on. The dogs will listen if you tell it to move. <laughs> well, that's true. Yeah, cats, you don't. <laughs> cats are on their own schedule. <laughs> Keep up that breathing pattern, gang. There we go. All right. Now what's that third exercise? Something to do with itching or scratching or something. Walk to the side. There we go. Yep, Walk, <laughs> step to the side and then itch the knee. <laughs> step to the side and itch the knee. Pinch the knee? Itch. Oh, itch. Itch. It's, it's been itching for two months from allergies. You tell me to itch. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just pat your knee and tell it it's going to be okay. Okay, knee. <laughs> I never know what will come up in these classes. <laughs> we have fun here, guys. <laughs> People are going to ask you, what did you do for exercise? And you're going, I don't know, but I feel like it was goofy. <laughs> we had fun. It's the cat and it's your knee. <laughs> People are going to ask what you did in exercise class today. And you're going to say, I stepped over the cat and I itched my knee. <laughs> and, and boy, is that going to be clear. Make sure we're now tightening I, Now I have to go to the guys. tailors and, and the bakers. <laughs> <laughs> well, you don't have to. Now, remember to tighten up that core as you move. Keep yourself supported. And rest there. All right, final exercise. Hot cross bum. Where's the tailor? We did the tailor for the first one. How about that, eh? <laughs> so cross and up. Cross, up, down, uncross. Cross, up, down, uncross. Cross, up, down, uncross. Make sure you're maintaining your steady breathing pattern. Excellent job, team. 
There we go. And rest. Okay, make sure you grab a sip of water, like to remind you here about your recovery position. So if you need to, either hands on the table in front of you uh, or just on your knees. But as we bend over, that back is straight, so we're not slumped. That chest has to be up in order for this to actually be a recovery position. Okay, can everyone give me a thumbs up, side, which is mean I'm okay, or down? How's our energy levels? Good. Perfect. Yeah, some of us are struggling a little bit. Okay, so if it's more of a breathing um, issue, just get into that recovery position and do your slow deep belly breathing until you're feeling ready to continue. Okay, make sure you feel recovered. If you're feeling good, then we're on to our next sequence. And again, uh, this is about, can we get our heart rate up a little bit? And can you remember the different patterns? So number one, we're going to be marching, but there's two options here. You're either kind of reaching knee to elbow. Now, what is super important about that is when I say knee to elbow, we don't twist. We don't twist and we don't flex over. So remember those, shoulder, those shoulders can rotate slightly, but my hips stay stable. Does everyone remember that from the back discussion? We don't wanna actually rotate. That can be super hard on the back but you're just reaching that elbow across your body while keeping your torso upright and tall. Has everyone got that? Super, super important. So instead of saying elbow to knee, I should just say, show me your wonky elbows. <laughs> the reverse chicken wing. There we go. Chicken wings usually out here. We are the reverse chicken wing. So I want that movement coming more from the shoulder rather than your back. Maintain that breathing pattern. Excellent job, gang. All right, exercise number two of this second sequence is now we're arms, uh, hands in front of you. We're gonna jab, jab, uppercut, uppercut. So jab, jab, uppercut, uppercut. Jab, jab, uppercut, uppercut. Bonus marks if you alternate which hand jabs first. So I'm doing left, right, left, left, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left. Now remember the goal is can we challenge that heart rate? Can we get around a five out of ten? four out of 10 on the breathless scale. So your breathing has increased. It's still doable. You can still take in that full breath. Keep breathing out through pursed lips. Remember intention of exercise is important. So really feeling like I'm punching in front, uppercutting. There we go, team. And rest. There we go. All right. 
Now we're going behind our backs and just to where you can, if you can't touch your hands behind your body for whatever reason, just go to your hips. So it's either a touch behind or a touch to the hips. And then we're going out in front as we lift a knee. So it's behind the body and then up and lift. Behind the body, up and lift. Knees up, Mother Brown. Sorry? All that one knees up, Mother Brown. Oh. <laughs> there we go. We've got a new name for this exercise. Love it. So only do what your shoulders allow you to do. Keeping your arms straight behind you is going to be harder than bending. And again, even if you just go to the hips and really kick that leg up, you should feel that in those thigh muscles. Those are called your quads. We're still breathing out through first lips. There we go, team. Keep up your breathing. Do what you can. If things don't feel right, you have to say something so I can change it up for you. And rest. Well done, gang. So now we're just gonna today. I know, isn't that fun? <laughs> and that's a little bit of flexibility for you too, right? Which is really good. I like so the last one, last one, I'm glad. The last one we're gonna do, and you're not gonna like me very much for this. <laughs> you are either lifting up one, two, and then standing, or to make it harder, making sure you don't flex forward is, can you lift up both feet and then stand? So either lifting up both or one, two, up. Now pulling that foot up. I want that coming through your belly button. <sighs> now, remember, if you're not comfortable standing up, what I want you to do is either to pull uh, or one, two. And then what I actually want you to do is to do our hinge. So it can be a one, two, and then that press forward through your hips. Remember, you're pulling yourself back upright by tightening those glute muscles, which are your bum muscles. Like you're trying to crush a walnut between your bum cheeks. Keep up the breathing. And rest. Awesome job, gang. Grab a sip of water. How are we doing so far? Okay. <clears throat> you know, I, especially with a group like this, I, I worry when you get so quiet. <laughs> That's because you're working. You I go, talk. oh my goodness, is everyone still breathing? <laughs> They're very quiet. That's why when I ask how everyone's doing, I like the verbal response because that at least tells me you are still breathing. <laughs> oh boy. Sometimes I'm uncertain about it. <laughs> okay, well then I That's better I see you in that pulse. recovery position. <laughs> yeah, check your pulse. There you go. Now team, what was the first exercise of this second sequence? March. Chicken. Fuck. March, chicken. the reverse chicken. <laughs> All right, and go, reverse chicken. So we're pulling that elbow in and across without moving our torso. That belly should be tight. <laughs> Keep up that breathing pattern, breathing out through pursed lips. Excellent job, team.
There we go. Last couple of seconds here. You're doing great to keep up that breathing. Remember to just do the best that you can, whatever you've got today. And what was that second exercise? Punch and jump. What's that? Punch. Yes. Punch and jump. There you go. I thought some of you were saying reach. And I was going, reach what? Reach for your water. Reach to turn off the, the computer. <laughs> jab, jab, uppercut, uppercut. And then bonus points if you can reverse which hand jabs out first. Remember, do this with intention. And remember, you are in charge of your intensity. There we go. The harder you punch, the harder this is going to be. And by that, I mean purposeful. <laughs> Purposeful punches. There we go, team. Keep up that breathing. and just do what you can. There we go, and rest. Next exercise. It's your back. That's it's right, your back. Uh, the mother brown, some of you called it. So <laughs> either hips or behind, and then forward as you kick. Kick. Remember to stay up tall, as you kick, and if you've got a sore back today, instead of fully extending, just keep that knee slightly bent and that'll take some of that pressure off. Keep up the breathing team. Excellent job. Keep up that breathing pattern, super, super important. Keep breathing out through pursed lips. Remember, you are in charge of your intensity today. And we talk lots about different ways that you can increase or decrease that intensity. And rest. What's the next exercise? Lift up your legs and stand up. That's right. So you either lift up the legs and then hinge forward. If you're going to do your hinge forward, Remember, it does take more pressure off your back to have the knees out a bit wider. Otherwise, it's either both or one, two, stand and down. One, two, or just the one and stand. And if you're staying seated, again, probably best to have those knees out wide a little bit. One, two, hinge, and all that movement is coming from your hips not your back. All of you should think about tightening your glutes tight to get yourself either um, coming back out of that hinge or to sit up from that chair. There we go, team. And rest. Awesome job, everybody. Grab that sip of water. 
<sighs> right. So the I we only did two sets of that second sequence. And I know we did three sets of the first. But that's because we have some time now. I wanted to get into a bit of intervals. Now, remember with intervals, it is so, so important that you focus on your breathing pattern uh, because otherwise we get into that um, higher chance of air getting trapped in those lungs, which promotes that feeling of breathlessness. So that might feel like you can only take in half a breath. Um, I want everyone to feel challenged, but like it's doable. So 30 seconds of higher intensity, whatever that looks like to you. Remember, number of limbs, range of motion, uh, speed, and then lower intensity, which might mean reducing some of those factors or just getting into your recovery position. Whatever is best for you. Ready. We're marching. So start at your uh, higher intensity now, whatever that looks like to you. Remember, it is challenging here. We're at these 30, when the 30 seconds are up, you're, you're glad for a bit of a break, but you don't feel like you can't catch your breath. You don't feel shaky or dizzy. You don't feel like your heart is racing. And then lighter intensity, whatever that means to you. Maybe that means your recovery position. <laughs> Maybe that means just lightly moving your arms. Maybe it's lightly moving the arms and legs. Whatever is lower intensity to you where you feel recovered for the next 30 seconds of higher intensity. We've only got a couple seconds left. So that should give you a little bit of that feedback of, oh, geez, I didn't go lower enough on the rest time on the lower intensity, or I should have maybe pushed a little harder on the higher intensity. Higher intensity. So keep up that breathing team. There we go. Really focus, breathing out through pursed lips. Get that air out of your lungs so you can get more air in. Think about that rib cage expanding out to the side rather than the chest just coming up. And lower intensity, whatever that looks like to you. And it might look very different for each of you. And that's okay. Whatever is recovering to you. It is important though, no matter what, that you do go slower. Your lower intensity should be a lower intensity than that higher intensity. All right. Doing great so far, gang? You're looking great. Good, I see some thumbs up. And whatever it is to you, higher intensity. Remember the motto, challenging yet doable. Keep breathing out through pursed lips. And lower intensity, whatever that looks like to you. I remember if you get to the point where you need, instead of 30 seconds, a full minute of lower intensity, please take that time. Do what you have to do to not be exhausted by the end of exercise class. I want you feeling good. <laughs> a little bit tired is okay, but not completely worn out. And higher intensity.
Keep breathing out through first lips, gang. Last couple of seconds. And lower intensity. And we're gonna do this lower intensity now for a minute. And then we are gonna get into some mobility, cool down, stretching. How's everybody feeling? Good. Tired. Tired, yeah. Well, that was tough. We, you know, we kept moving that whole time. Uh, and it's, you know, some of you uh, probably needed more rest than what I officially gave. Uh, Cause I was kind of on the one track mind of, oh, I got to make up for yesterday. <laughs> oh boy. But you're conditioning us. That too. Absolutely. That's the goal. So this is a good one. If you found you had to take more breaks and or uh, if you want to rate yourself kind of out of 10, how intense it was, how hard you worked for whatever you're able to work. And then later in the summer, you repeat this class because it is recorded and going to be posted and you evaluate yourself again after. How many breaks did I need to take? And out of 10, how intense was it? So what time did the exercises start today? And rest. Sorry, Clancy. What time did the exercises start? Did you notice it? Well, we started almost right away. Uh, 103. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, that was a full kind of nonstop 50, 51 minutes. I was just wondering how long my glutes lasted today. Your, your glutes? No. Nice. <laughs> yeah, you got you want them lasting, right? They got to be working. More hot cross buns for you. <laughs> All right, gang. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> Let's just start with our hands on our belly. We're going to breathe in as we slowly bring the hands out to the side. Remember, we don't want to be moving our arms, just pulling our thumbs back and then breathing out to bring those thumbs back in. So breathing out, or breathing in, sorry, pull the thumbs apart, breathing out through pursed, limb, pursed lips to bring those thumbs back. Excellent. All right, now, if you are comfortable with this, I would like you to breathe in and reach your arms up overhead. Then hold them here and one arm is coming down as we breathe out. Push it down and then breathe in and lift it up. Breathe out as you bring that other arm slowly down. Reach and breathe in. Other arm slowly comes down. Reach and breathe in. And breathe out. Reach, last one in. Both arms come down. Excellent. Bring one elbow up. Gently push it back. There we go. How's everybody feeling? Great. Good. Good. Did we hit that range of challenging yet doable? Yeah. Yes. 
just about at the break of sweat, Mark. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> Switch arms. There we go. Yeah, well done, everybody. Worked really, really hard today. Does this make you ready for canoeing yet? <laughs> <laughs> No, we didn't do enough paddling today. Oh, good grief. I reminded her of that, did I? You, you did, yeah. <laughs> Boy, we're going to have to work at that. That doesn't bode well because I'm in the next class with her following this one. <laughs> <laughs> Relax there, team. All right, stretch that leg out in front of you and reach <laughs> towards your toes. <clears throat> Good, and switch legs. One leg kind of straightens out in front. You gently reach forward towards your toes, but keep that back straight and upright. Now I have uh, a little piece of homework for all of you for Tuesday. <laughs> From now until Tuesday, and I'm gonna ask you about it on Tuesday, okay? And that goal is I want each of you to plan and do one thing that brings you some joy. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Whatever <laughs> that looks like to you. But I want you to plan it so you have something to look forward to sometime between today and Tuesday's class and do something that brings you joy. Can't do that. <laughs> Bring that leg in. You can drop it back or turn sideways in your seat. And I will do something as well. And then we're gonna talk about it before <laughs> class before class on Tuesday. So is and this then, an exercise that we have to do for joy or a bowl of ice cream? <laughs> I like you. <laughs> you know what? You know what? If you've got, you know, a favorite type of ice cream that makes you feel that spark of joy, you go for it. <laughs> Chocolate sauce. Like joy or delight. Like I want something that's just, yeah, okay. Like a nice IPA. What's that, Barry? Like a nice IPA. Or yeah, a nice IPA. Go. Just watching the frost come off of it. Yeah. Pure bliss. There you go. What is whatever, that? whatever it looks like to you guys. What is that? It, it doesn't have to be, you know, your typical notions of what's good for you. Just something that brings you joy. So if I give you an example of something that's not necessarily healthy by society standards. <laughs> I think I think chocolate. But if I'm going to do something that brings me joy, I'm not going to go to the to the store and get a, a you know a typical cheap piece of chocolate. I'm going to go get a little, you know, from Purdy's one of those peanut butter hedgehogs. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, like I rarely get those and the sweet I Georgia Browns are better. Yes, they're good. Oh, peanut butter oh. hedgehogs. Do you have oh. a, a hats off day up there in Kelowna where you are? In rest? Oh, a, hats, a hats off day? Well, uh, I guess it's a celebration of the community on Saturday, the first Saturday of, of June. I don't think so. I'll have to check. Yeah, they usually have a parade and a bunch of brouhaha for the day and maybe fireworks if you're lucky. Oh, I don't think we have that. Are you thinking of the old May Day? I guess it's kind of like like on Saturday it's it's Pitt Meadows Day, for example, and in Burnaby it's Hats Off Day, and various other communities have the same type thing. Oh, how wonderful! Are we Does not anyone... celebrating enough? 
my gosh, we're missing one. Yeah, well, it's it's a question of what the what your uh, council can afford, I guess, because someone's paying for it. <laughs> huh? Does does anyone else have something like that who's not from Burnaby or Pitt Meadows? No. Yes, that's that's what I thought. It was sort of province wide. Thanks, all. Oh wow. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, if you haven't been to one and all the time you've lived up there, then you don't have it going on. So, <laughs> well, you know, I have to admit, uh, I don't get out much, Rick. <laughs> and it, and it's a it's a family thing too. Like when I was a kid, I couldn't recall a day I was ever downtown Kelowna for Canada Day. Oh, okay. A lot like of my, your, a lot of your girls, so that are like on your teams, they must some somewhere along the line must know about it. Like, yeah, I'll, I'll have to ask, and I'll ask people uh, in the gym too, and see if that's a, an event that I just don't know about. I just yeah. googled it. June eighteenth, it says. Oh, is it moved to the where? Well, where is that? in Vancouver. Oh. It's um, Saturday. Yeah, from four thirty to eleven Hastings. Oh, it's Burnaby. Yeah, that's the Heights. Yeah, oh. so that came up for Vancouver when I googled it. So oh, I guess we moved that, that one back because some of the the, uh, the tenants or whatever weren't ready yet, so they moved it to the 18th. Yeah, oh, where was Father's Day? The 19th, 19th is Father's Day. Yeah. I've got that one locked in. Yeah, it's also yeah, we... the scleroderma walk is on the 19th. Oh, uh, okay. I, I have scleroderma, so um, I had a lung transplant, so. I know oh, okay. there's not many of us here probably, but you did oh. tell us we could come <laughs> and I'm enjoying it. <laughs> You're welcome, glad to see you. Thank you, but I like, um, I, I, I think Father's Day should be Father's Day. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's not fair to, to have a square derma day. That's like every day. <laughs> well, us fathers are used to getting bumped around anyway. So. No, not fair. 